Well, it's on me. You too, Chandler. Yeah. Thank you, sir, but I think I'll just keep an eye on you all from the counter. <laughs> Very well. This breakfast with its pancakes, muffins, and hot chocolate is nothing compared to my birthday party tonight. I want to make sure that all of you are coming. It's very important to me to have my girlfriend there, along with my two best friends. I'm not your best friend. You hate me. And Justin isn't your girlfriend. Sure seems like Justin's with Spencer. That's what they want us to believe. But Spencer told me it's just an act to make me jealous. I can see Spencer doing something this time, but... Why would you, Joss? You really let him use you just to try and make Emma jealous? Okay, as long as we're being honest. Oh, wait. The truth is, there was something in it for Jocelyn, too. Spencer! Did he bribe you just to pretend to be his girlfriend? No. You townie, not everything's about money. Jocelyn went along with the act, too, because she wanted to make you jealous. Why? Because I'm in love with you. Always something. Did you choose? Wow. This looks real old. Have you played it? No, we're not going to play. Then what are we going to do? Now? Now we talk turkey. I like turkey. Then marry and stay away from Emma Drake. No more notes, no more gifts, no more paper animals. You mean like this? Leave Emma alone. Why? She's my girlfriend. No, she's my girlfriend. I thought you already had a girlfriend in Italy. Yeah, I had to tell her of your duty and say buongiorno to Emma. You're making up words. They're not made up. They're Italian. Now go date Jocelyn Jackson. Back off. You back off. I'm older. I'm better. I'm a handsome prince. Why are we even fighting when it's not even up to us? You're right. We must let Emma decide. This has become unbearable, Emma. You must put us out of our misery. Choose me. Choose me. I love you. I love you more. I have a castle. I can make you a castle. See? Stop it, both of you. Only you can stop us. You have to choose. I can't. You're both cool. Well, you can't have us both. I know. My dad says a princess can only be with one prince. Want one? Psych, you don't get cookies when you're grounded. I don't care. You're not supposed to be watching TV either. Who are you, my dad? I'm just saying. The volume's not even on. Now take your cookie somewhere else. Nah, I'm good right here. Great. Don't forget your awesome swag bags. Oh, I already got mine. Epic party, Spencer. Don't you want yours, County? I don't want anything from here. Great, leave it. More for me. On second thought, I do deserve something for coming. Where's Spencer? In the living room. It's on fire. I told him not to go back in, but he wouldn't listen. I'll call 911. Go. doesn't mean you guys can't be friends. Do you mean it? I can still see Rick? Well, he, yeah. I, mean, I At first, he might need a little time to himself, but after a while, you guys are going to be able to pick up where you left off. I may not 
have a while. I need representation, and I need it now. You need what? I need a lawyer. Why do you think you need a lawyer? Because I'm a child. I can't represent myself in court. That would be crazy. Why would you be in court in the first place? That's what happens to people who break the law. They get arrested and go to court. And if they don't have a good lawyer, they go to jail. Is this because you broke the head off of Aiden's Iron Man? Because, honey, I can glue that thing back on. People don't go to jail for breaking toys, Mom. But they do for arson. What are you talking about? I started the fire at Windermere. I burned Spencer. This is very serious. I know it's serious. Spencer's party went up in flames because of me. Don't tell me you started that fire on purpose. No, it was an accident, I swear. I'm just gonna believe a fire. Okay, just tell me what happened. Emma and I got in a fight and broke up. So Jocelyn and I decided to leave. We grabbed our swag bags on the way out. When I took mine, I think I knocked something over. Knocked what over? I didn't stop to see. But the newspaper said they think that the fire started because something fell into the candle on the table with the swag bags. Don't you see? It's my fault. Now the cops are gonna take me to prison. Unless Rick saves me. So worst case scenario, say you did knock something into the candle at Spencer's party. You said it wasn't on purpose, right? I was just taking my swag back. And you didn't know anything caught on fire. No, but what difference well, does that make? Well, you couldn't have warned anyone because you didn't know what happened until later, right? I guess so. Okay. Honey, little boys don't go to jail and they don't need lawyers because of accidents. Are you sure? Come here. I'm positive. I promise you, everything is gonna be okay, right? Spencer, what are you doing here? And why are you dressed like Zorro? I'm the Phantom of the Nurses brought you uncultured county, and I'm here to whisk Emma on a romantic, gothic adventure through the catacombs of Windermere. I don't have a gondola just yet, but I use Father's credit card, so give it six to eight weeks. I'm not going anywhere with you, Spencer. You'd rather be with Cameron. I'm not with anyone. Cameron and I are friends, and we have a number to perform. So why can't you be with me? It's because my face, isn't it? No, I already told you. I don't care how you look. You're still the same person underneath the mask. That's the problem. You treat me like some prize to be won, and I'm not. Just say it. You think I'm hideous, and you don't listen. Sorry, Spencer. I really hope you find a way to be happy again. Come on, let's go. Did I have too many celebratory shots, or did Spencer just pull an Andrew Lloyd Webber on the ball? Spencer, buddy. What's going on? Nothing. You could have really hurt Cameron and Emma with that stunt you pulled. Why would you do that? What about what Cameron did to me? He deliberately started the fire that scarred my face. Now everyone thinks I'm hideous. No one thinks that. I tried telling him, but he wouldn't listen. Okay, okay. Come on, sweetheart. Come sit down. Come on. 
going to go talk to your dad. Okay. Are they okay? Yeah, I think they're fine. You going to find Nicholas? We'll find Elizabeth. Come on. Lunch, he's gonna ask for fast food, but give him a turkey sandwich or, you know, something healthy. I got this. Elizabeth Camp's gonna have so much fun with his Aunt Hayden. Oh. <laughs> Could it be my dearest stepmother? Oh my god, that's her! What are you doing here? I thought you were in France. I'm wasted on the French, so I moved home! Uh, what he means by that is we are discussing it. Hmm. Spencer, why didn't you email me and tell me you were coming home? Well, I had to secure the element of surprise. He bluffed his way out of boarding school. No one knew a thing about this until he turned up on my doorstep. Oh, I know I tried to explain this to you when I wrote to you, but I'm glad I'm seeing this to you in person. You know your dad and I had our ups and downs. I'm really sorry he's gone. Thank you. I miss him. Yeah. We all do, honey. Promise me we'll have some one-on-one -on -one time so we can catch up. How about now? Spencer. Not now. I'm sure you could benefit from my insights. I'd rather not sit in a hospital board meeting. Hayden, you don't have to take Cameron. Wow, oh, I didn't see you there, Cameron. I didn't want to step on your big entrance. <laughs> if you'd been here last week, you could have seen Emma. Emma was here in Port Charles for the nurse's ball. She's back in California. She's doing a dance camp for the summer. How would you know? She told me all about it when we were hanging out. Emma is a lady of style. She doesn't hang out. All I know is we had fun together. <laughs> uh, Spencer, we will set up a visit for you and Hayden sometime very soon, but today you're going to sit quietly outside the boardroom while I have my meeting. I beseech you, Hayden. Please save me from an afternoon of stultifying I boredom. mean it. I mean it, Spencer. That is enough. Laura, of course. You know what? Spencer should come with me and Cam. The more the merrier. Hmm? Are you sure? Absolutely. Come on, let's go, you guys. Just let me know when you're done with your board meeting and I'll bring Spencer back, okay? Come on, come Thank on, come you. On, come on, come on, come on. Don't worry. These boys are gonna have so much fun. <laughs> okay, boys, what do you have? Come on. I'd like a mocha frappuccino with whipped cream and extra chocolate syrup. Sure. How cleanly American, ugh. I have a cortado, iced, please. You drink cortados? Well, when the mood strikes me. Uh, do you want whipped cream on that? Uh, of course. I kind of figured that you'd get chocolate milk. Are you allowed to have all that caffeine and sugar? Well, I am. Yeah, me too. This is nothing. Okay. What are you- We got our treats. What should we do after we drink them? The Art Museum just launched a new exhibit. How about we go see that? I think that's a wonderful idea. Maybe while you and Spencer are at the museum, I could go to the park across the street. There's usually a pickup soccer game on the lawn. I should have realized the museum would be too intellectually challenging for him. Maybe we should find something we all want to do. Cam doesn't enjoy the arts, but that does not mean we both have to miss out. We can go enjoy some culture. And Cameron can play pick up soccer, and hopefully we'll get lucky and someone will pick him up, take him home with them, like the stray that he really hey, is. Hey, no, 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 Spencer. Better than getting ditched at some school halfway around the world. Uh, Cameron, no, that's not nice. I'm back now, and things are gonna change. All right, boys, dial no back. No one cares that you're back, Spencer. No one missed you while you were gone. Both of you. Emma missed me. She was inconsolable. Huh. <laughs> well, not that you know what that word means. Here's what I know. I kissed Emma, and she loved it. Hello? Laura? Hey, get back here. Help! Please! Oh. <laughs> Boys! Stop it! No! Spencer, Spencer, stop! Oh, he's bigger than me! You can't reduce stuff! He started it! Leave me alone! Stop it! That's oh, enough! Back. What is going on here? It's a mess! It's everywhere! I can't believe this. Spencer, you know better than this. And Cameron, you do too. Oh my goodness. Separate right now, both of you. 
he started it, he always starts it. Is that so? Yeah, Mother, I was just trying to protect myself. Really? Mm-hmm. Napkins, clean it up. Everything. <laughs> I can't believe Oscar's not responding to my birthday text. I mean, not even a polite thank you. Perhaps you should be more strategic. What do you mean? Why would Oscar reply if you keep messaging him? He knows you'll always be there for him. What are you saying? That I should just go silent and hope he notices? What's bothering you more? Not hearing from him? Or imagining him with somebody else? Both. What's worse? Oh, seeing that post of him and that other girl, that made me sick. Jocelyn, you are smart and beautiful. There are plenty of other guys that'd be thrilled to date you. Perhaps Oscar should see that for himself. Oh my god. Spencer, yes! Well, that worked better than I thought it would. <laughs> you are a genius. I am. And I know exactly what to do. Thank you, Spencer. You helped me figure out exactly what I have to do to get Oscar back. Inspiring others is what I do. <laughs> I know the perfect person to help me. I'm happy to help in any way I can. And if you come to the conclusion that this Oscar person isn't worthy of your company, then I'd be truly happy to determine who's truly worthy of your time. Cameron! Cameron? It's Jocelyn. Don't answer it. Peter. Yeah, hey, yo. What's up? I need you to be my boyfriend. What? Oscar wants me to think that he's dating someone else. Something I totally don't believe. Spencer thinks I should turn the tables and convince him that I've fallen for another guy. Me? Yeah. And if I'm right, and Oscar still cares, then making him jealous will bring him to his senses. Genius, huh? If it comes from the mind of Spencer Cassidyne, it's evil genius at best. I mean, that guy is just a supervillain waiting to happen. <laughs> well, maybe.